Hey there everybody, it's Mrs. Jones. I'm here to show you a little activity that I did with my students to help them learn metric conversion. We think metric conversion is very easy um, because everything's multiples of 10, but it can be quite a challenge if you're not familiar with um, a system like this. So in the United States, we teach this in fourth grade uh, metric conversion. And so I wanna show you something that worked really well with me. Um, and I created a Teachers Pay Teachers product. There'll be a link in the description below, below. Um, if you want this kind of pre-made, so you just have to make copies of it. The first time we did it, I actually had the students make it themselves. But it is really important for the students to actually do as much of this as they possibly can. Um, so let me show you how this works. We call this our froggy chart. That's because this little guy here is green. This is the froggy who does the hopping. So let's say we want to turn meters into millimeters. So we start by putting the froggy on meters. Let's say we want to change five meters into millimeters. We place the five right on top of the zero. And notice how it makes the invisible decimal point visible to students. Now we want to turn our meters into millimeters. This is a lot easier when you have two hands, of course. And so I'm just going to move my froggy over here. Hop, hop, hop and I'm gonna fill in the middle with zeros. So how many millimeters are in a meter? 5,000, five, zero, zero, zero. It also works going the other way. So let's say I wanna turn centimeters into kilometers. Okay, so I'm gonna do use five again, five centimeters into kilometers. Again, I'm going to hop my little froggy, boink, 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 boink. And as you can see, five centimeters is 0 .00005 kilometers. So it makes really the thinking very visible to students. What we found is that um, for some students, they very quickly catch on. And the students who don't, the students who are still very, very concrete, um, this still really works for them. Now, you're probably thinking, what if I have a double digit number? Let's say I have um, 15 decameters. How would I do that? Well, first of all, you do it pretty much the same. We're trading decameters, so we put our froggy there, and we just make sure that we put our digits, just one digit in each um, column and we make sure that our ones place is lining up with the place that we just said, deca. So 15 decameters. So how many, uh, 15 decameters is gonna be how many hectometers? So again, the froggy is little and tiny and he can only hop one space at a time. I'm sorry, this is <laughs> not looking that neat and tidy, but I only have one hand. So that means he would move to the next place and now you can see that the decimal point is in between. So 15 decameters is the same as 1.5 hectometers. So it's a great um, manipulative and visual for your students. Um, and I've made a product of this, a Teachers Pay Teachers. So if you're interested in using it, you can go there. Thanks a lot, TTFN, to die for now.